Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general reading, general energy reading for July of 2022. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. The July distinction is really just for organizational purposes. This does not have to resonate for you during the month of July of 2022. It can resonate for you at any moment in your life. Uh, whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you at that time in that moment. Yeah, please make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you are new here, welcome. It is so wonderful to see you, meet you and greet you. And if you're returning, welcome back, guys. All right, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. I'm going to give this one last shuffle for you, and we will see what spirit wants to discuss with you at this time. Yeah, what messages do we have for my Leos, please? Spirit, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's going on for Leo at this time? First card you have is the Nine of Pentacles. Feeling very abundant. Um, you might be spending a lot of time with yourself. Um, I'm hearing in nature, okay, which is a really good thing. Uh, you do have the tower next. Hold on. Is there something else that flipped over? Um, <clears throat> see, I do feel like there is a tower moment happening around you, Leo. Um, but that's just the thing. It's happening around you, okay? It's not... Hmm. I don't, I feel like you're at the center of this situation, kind of, I did just hear in your nonchalance, okay, <laughs> um, very much keeping to yourself, very much stable and sturdy and grounded. I feel like there's a lot that's changing around you. And what I'm seeing here is that you're in the center of, like you're in the eye of the storm here, very solid within yourself, nine of pentacles, while there seems to be uh, a massive amount of change, oops, a massive, jeez, um, Louise. Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. Okay, there seems to be a, la a massive amount of change that's happening around you. Your reality, your situation, your circumstances are changing. For some of you, you may not actually know that this is happening. You may not necessarily see it. I don't, I just feel an energy of great change is around you, Leo. And there is a level of stability within you right now. This nine of pentacles. It's like the, the, the effects or this change is, or, or I'm sorry, your surrounding energies are being affected by your internal vibration. So it's not like you're going through a massive upheaval within yourself. You may have already done that and found a level of balance and stability within you. But now the energy register, the, the, the energy vibration that you are holding that is emanating from you is creating great change in your life. So that's why you feel stable and solid and sturdy in this nine of pentacles energy, but around you in the surrounding energies and in the surrounding environment, even there's lots of change happening, the tower. And that's because your physical reality is responding to the vibration you're holding within yourself. Okay. Let's get one more card here. You do have the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, that's something to take uh, a, a, take note of at the moment. Um, I feel like that's kind of, there's an energy within you in terms of you standing or, or residing within this nine of pentacles energy. There is an energy within you that's very much seven of pentacles that's very much understanding what it is you have that you've been harvesting or what it is you've just harvested or what is, is ready to be harvested, what's not ready to be harvested, and you being very serious about it, being very conscious about it, being very honest with yourself about what it is you have around you that you like and or dislike and you're you're acting accordingly in terms of trying to get what it is that you do want in the event that something around you is not exactly as you would like it but that's why a lot of this change is happening for you around you 
uh, Leo with this tower energy because you are standing in a place, nine of pentacles, of a strong sense of responsibility, a strong sense of self-awareness, a strong sense of very much, you know, doing what it is you need to do to reach the goals you want to reach, okay? All right, one last card here, just to finish out this story for Leo. There we go, the Knight of Wands. Okay, Aries got that energy too. That's a very strong energy for uh, fire signs so far. I haven't gotten to Sagittarius yet, but that is a Sagittarian energy. But anyway, overall energy you do have is the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There is an energy between both you and Leo, I'm sorry, you and Aries, quite frankly. There is an energy between the two of you. Maybe you have an Aries and a Leo placement, so you might wanna watch the Aries reading if you haven't done so already. Um, but there's definitely an energy of moving forward from the past. This Six of Cups energy. And, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Leo. I mean, you're a very loyal individual. See now, as soon as, see, I'm doing, I'm doing your reading and my little lion wants to come in. Hold on a second, I have to let Jinx in. Okay, Leo, sorry about that. So, um, look, you're a very loyal individual. You're a very loyal person. You're loyal to those that you love, those that you serve, those that you respect and all that. You're a fixed sign. Loyalty is huge for you, Leo, okay? Or at least is a, 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 a factor worth seriously considering. But I feel like right now, Leo, your loyalty is to yourself, to the great, to like, to the, to the, to a, to the, the greater amount, the greatest amount of where you're putting your loyalty into or what you're putting it towards right now is to yourself. And I don't, and I'm not picking up on this in a very extremely selfish way or a narcissistic way, or you're like being completely inconsiderate or um, you're not even thinking about the people around you, you are, but right now, it seems like, or it feels like, your loyalty is to yourself at the moment. The greatest amount of loyalty that you are exhibiting is towards yourself, your goals, your dreams, your desires, your wishes, your ambitions. Because it seems that there's something from the past, Six of Cups, that I feel like you, you're trying to get away from. or you're, And not like you're trying to like escape. It doesn't feel unhealthy. It feels like you're just, you're trying to move forward here. There are elements about the past that you would like to do away with. I kind of want to say, Leo, it's like you've grown up in a sense in terms of some of the things that you've been dealing with or some of the elements that have been a part of your life. That's very much coming from that seven of pentacles that was at the bottom of the deck before. There's something that you've learned. There's some sort of wisdom that you've gained. There's some sort of understanding that you've come to or there's something that you have accepted. I feel like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself, Leo. This nine of pentacles energy, again, feels like you've been spending a lot of time in solitude. And if not physically in solitude, then you've been very much focused in your own mind, in your own head about your own thoughts and your own feelings and, and coming to terms with all of that. There's a very self-centered energy surrounding you right now. But Leo, it's not unhealthy. It's actually very healthy. And that's causing you to, like, to get right with yourself. I feel like there's an energy here, Leo, of you like coming to terms with certain things in your life and, 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 grow, and, and very much growing up or being more responsible or taking greater responsibility for where it is you find yourself versus where it is you actually want to or would like to be. And so you're owning that with this Nine of Pentacles energy. And the more and more you own that and embody that energy, the more things shift in your physical reality. You are moving forward in a very passionate, activated way, Leo. There is definitely a greater maturity about you at this moment. Not to say that you're, you were ever um, wildly immature or anything like that. Not to say that you were never mature in the past, but there's a greater level of maturity that I'm feeling here for you in this, in this moment, Leo. Okay, this is really beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. There are, some of you are even taking certain matters into your own hands, whatever that means for you. That just came up, so I wanted to say it. All right, 
I'm gonna give this two more shuffles and then we're gonna get some clarity for you, Leo. Some clarity for my Leos here. Last shuffle. All right, so let's clarify, start by clarifying this nine of pentacles for Leo, please spirit. What's this nine of pentacles for Leo? We have the eight of swords as the first card. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Leo, please. Yeah, see, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Holy moly to the Ace of Pentacles. This definitely could be related to the message that I pulled for Aries. You might have Aries in your chart. You might be dealing with an Aries. Um, you might be a Aries dealing with a Leo. I don't know. Um, but maybe check out that, that reading because specifically... Um, I did at one point, I don't know if I mentioned this, but at one point in this reading here, in this video, I almost called you Aries, but I had just done Aries reading. So like, whatever, that's not that big of a deal. But now that this is coming out, these three cards specifically, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords, these three cards came out together for Aries as well. And what I was saying here is that there is something for Aries that they realized there was some there was something that Aries was holding on to that they realized they would be better off releasing or letting go of and that effectively broke them out of some sort of mental prison there's some sort of physical reality or physical payout or something physical that they may receive by letting go of whatever this position or belief they were holding on to Letting go of that and allowing something new in or allowing something different in or, or taking action in a different way. And it's very similar here for you, Leo. This is that energy that I was picking up on that's very mature. Like there, you're taking responsibility of, for something. You're taking ownership of something. You're no longer... You're no longer in this misery loves company energy, potentially five of pentacles in reverse. Woe is me. Why isn't something working? Why isn't something happening? Why am I left out in the cold like this? Something doesn't feel right, blah, blah, blah. But you're taking responsibility in terms of this at this point, Leo. The, the, you may have had uh, 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 you may have had some sort of come to Jesus moment recently. If that resonates with you or maybe you had a moment where you sat down with yourself and you got real real really real with yourself leo and you were like look if i want something different if i want to change my reality then i've got to change my alignment so there is something that i have got to take responsibility for in order for myself to be able to move forward and that was this realization, this ace of swords that cut you free from this eight of pen i'm sorry eight of swords energy it's like you took, you realized that what was holding you back was your own sense of doubt or your own sense of lack or your own sense of feeling left out in the cold, but not necessarily asking for help or not making the appropriate moves or the appropriate steps that you would need to take in order for things to change. And however it is you're changing here, Leo, it is providing you with a great sense of abundance. Like the Nine of Pentacles energy is an abundant energy anyway. Um, but I feel like you're embodying this Nine of Pentacles, this sovereignty, this independence from the inside out. And so it's going to reward you. It's going to provide you with some sort of ace of pentacles here or some sort of reality that can ultimately bring you to the ten of pentacles right nine of pentacles here you're standing in the nine of pentacles preparing for waiting for ready for your final pentacle which will take you to the ten and it's all because of how you have taken responsibility for something here leo and quite honestly what i'm feeling like here is excuse the sniffles um what what i'm feeling like here is you weren't going to reach that 10 until you actually took this level of responsibility here and for some of you that is a lesson that specifically the universe was trying to get you to learn ultimately you figured it out whether you're consciously aware of that or not you figured out what it is you needed to do and ultimately learned that lesson and overcame that obstacle whether you were aware that it was an obstacle or not, okay? Let's look at the tower then. Clarify the tower for Leo, please, Spirit. Clarify the tower for Leo. 
The Ten of Cups. Look at this. Interesting. Clarify the Tower for Leo. Okay. All right. Overall energy here is the Two of Pentacles. I do feel like this is a level of juggling, Leo. This Two of Pentacles is making me feel like you, you were going back and forth um, between kind of having an idea of what needed to change or realizing or recognizing that something needed to change, which was one pentacle that you were holding in your hand, which actually could represent that new pentacle that is coming forward towards you, that is going to take you to your 10 of pentacles. And then the other pentacle that you were juggling was ego. Um, ego and status quo in terms of keeping something the same way that it has, had always been. I feel like it, it took a level of um, ego dissolution for you to accept what really needed to be accepted here, what really needed to be changed here in order for you to like, in order for you to move forward in this, in this way, okay? You have the 10 of cups to the tower. You have the tower clarifying the tower, Leo. <laughs> This is amazing. You have the Ten of Cups, the Tower, the Chariot, the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, bear with me for a moment. I just want to see if maybe there's a better way to organize the cards here so that this message comes through. What I really want to do is I want to put this Eight of Pentacles here. Then you go to the tower, then the chariot, then the ten of cups. That's what, well, actually, no, no, it actually might be better this way. The chariot, the eight of pentacles to the tower, to the ten of cups. Because Leo, what it feels like is going on here is this chariot energy represents you getting very clear with yourself, very balanced within your emotions. You Basically, you getting either back on track or finding a greater sense of the mission ahead of you or the path ahead of you, having a greater understanding of this path or how it is you want to and or need to be moving forward, okay? This is you getting your mind right, getting your emotions right, getting right with yourself, okay, Leo? Getting right with yourself to then put in the appropriate work that is required or that is dictated by being in this alignment, which then brings the tower moments on, which then starts to change your external reality, which ultimately leads you to a greater sense of happiness and contentment. This 10 of cups feels nothing else other than, feels like nothing else other than that moment where you really get over some of the or get past some of the really tough or difficult aspects of life and like the sun the, the clouds part and the sun starts to come out and it's like you know you hear the birds chirping and and it's all beautiful and happy and and and, and wonderful this ten of cups literally feels like that moment when the clouds part and everything looks better, feels better, and things start to be bright again. The sun comes out again. You can you can breathe again. You know you feel the sun on your uh, 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 beating down or, or shining on your face again. You know, it, that's a beautiful energy. But that's this is all happening, Leo, because you have gotten back on track, or you have gotten onto a greater sense of being on track. Okay. Excellent. Let's see what you're moving forward towards. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo, please, Spirit. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo. Clarify one more. Oh. Every time I ask for one more, I always get a stack. What, did, what is this? These are three cards. Okay, so the first card that came out to clarify the Knight of Wands is the Knight of Cups. So I definitely want to say, however it is you're moving forward now, Leo, it's in greater alignment with your heart. I definitely want to say there is an aspect here of your heart leading the way. And I want to make this very clear. Because remember, I did say, Leo, in the beginning that you're, you're kind of self-centered right now or you're in an energy of really caring for yourself, making sure yourself is good and solid, okay? And that is absolutely part of what your heart is calling for, okay? This is, this is kind of like a, a self-care type of element, you know what I mean? 
Like, yes, I, I'm not trying to say that you're not trying to do things for others or you're not trying to be of service or that you're being extremely self-centered. I don't I don't feel like this is unhealthy. I feel like it's very it's very healthy. OK, you're moving forward in a very inspired, maybe even passionate way. And part of that moving forward element has to do with being in a mode or a level of self-care. All right. Caring for yourself, keeping to yourself, making sure that yourself is good, maybe in, even in like a, a solitary moment. All right. Kind of like a hermit mode. OK, that is absolutely called for by your heart. Continue moving forward in this way, Leo, because it's definitely in alignment with your heart. You have four more cards here. Eight of Wands. Excellent. Four of Swords. Justice and the High Priestess. Okay. There's definitely a level of mystery here with this high priestess energy, but I feel like you are allowing the universe and your heart to move you forward. You're keeping your mind clear, four of swords. You're staying connected to your heart, knight of cups. That is allowing you to move forward in this way, eight of wands. That is allowing you to bring... It, that is allowing you to move forward in this way. And I feel like however, however things are playing out for you right now, I really feel like, Leo, you're staying in a four of swords type of energy. Very clear, very calm mind, you know, making sure that you're keeping your ego in check. I feel like you're really going with the flow here, Leo, because either intuitively um, or you're... Intuitively, you're aware of it this way or you're actually seeing this play out for you in a certain way. But I feel like you know that however it is you're moving forward in this way, Leo, is bringing justice into your life, is balancing out the scales. I don't feel like you're worried about it at all. I feel like, especially with the high priestess here, I feel like you have the utmost faith and trust in the universe at this time specifically because of the experiences that you've had, Leo, up until this point in which the universe has systematically proven itself to you, proven that it's here for you, proven that it's got your back, proven that everything happens for a reason and that there are no mistakes, proven that if you stay in alignment and you do the things you need to do, you will be taken care of. Like, I feel like you don't need to question the universe about this any longer. You know, you're, it's like you're resting assured that however it is you're moving forward now, should you just keep yourself in this proper alignment, all is going to work out for you. And that's excellent. And that is exactly where you need to be because that is absolutely 100% true. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. You do have the moon here. This is interesting. Um, intuition. I want to say uh, following following your gut, following your instincts, following your intuition. That is really what I get from the moon here. I, I I'm not getting fear. I'm not. There's a bit of mystery. There's a bit of nebulousness. There's a bit of like maybe not see uh, things unseen manifest manifestations having not quite come into fruition yet. Things being a little bit dark, but not being afraid in the darkness. Darkness is not bad. Darkness is just potential. Okay, I feel like you, Leo, first of all, you may not necessarily be seeing any real effects of the fruits of your labor in the physical just yet. And I was picking up on that. I don't remember if I said it, I mentioned it or not, but I was picking up on it while I was talking about channeling the energy for the nine of pentacles i'm not sure you're actually seeing all of the fruits or the fruits that you really want to be seeing of your labor just yet but it's coming and you're following your intuition towards it the moon and the high priestess you're following the promptings of the of your higher self and the universe and you're following your instincts you're letting your instincts guide you here in terms of how to move forward you're very much there you are so strongly connected with yourself leo and i love that for you okay i want to encourage you to keep doing the things that you're doing that has got you so strongly connected with yourself at this time because it's absolutely leading you in the right direction Let's get you, let's get your closing message here. Oh, look, the devil wanted to pop out. Nah, whatever. Screw the devil. <laughs> closing message for my Leo's peace spirit. Closing final message 
potential outcome. Closing message here. The Knight of Swords. Ooh. Closing message for Leo. Potential outcome. Last things you want to say. Take it. Okay. The Five of Cups. Knight of Swords. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Four of Swords. Yes. Okay. So this is just the, your closing message here, Leo, is just confirmation that you are moving forward. You're striving forward. Whatever heart, then this is absolutely very similar to Aries energy. Okay. Whatever heartbreak you've experienced, whatever discomfort, whatever disappointment, whatever, whatever it is that you lost, that you feel that you needed to mourn, you are fighting back against that. You are fighting to pull away from that. You are fighting to cut the cords from that. You are fighting to be cleared of that. Whether that means doing the emotional work that you need to do to overcome this sense of lack or this sense of sorrow or mourning what you have lost in terms of the past. And or fighting to create something better. Stay in this alignment that you're in because that's what's moving you forward. And that's what's helping you pick up the pieces. There's also a level of, of responsibility that you are taking, which is also very similar to the Aries energy, okay? Um, there was something else that I was trying to say here, but I've lost it. So I'm just gonna leave it there, all right? But you're definitely fighting about fighting back or fighting to pull away from fighting back against or fighting to pull away from past circumstances that left you in a less than desirable situation all right and your your mind is clear you're seeing things clearly you're approaching this correctly yes leo excellent let's see closing oracle guidance from you i'm actually going to get your guidance from the oracle of the seven energies Heels. Excellent. Closing Oracle guidance for my Leos, please. Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Last shot over here. All right. Closing Oracle guidance for Leo, please. Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. There it is right there. Yeah, okay, look at this. Card number 28, broken open. This makes perfect sense. It really does feel like you've come to terms with a great deal of some things. It really does feel like you've done a strong level of reconciling within yourself that is allowing you to stand in this new independent energy, this new independent form of yourself, okay? Oops. All right, broken open. Yeah, broken open. The gift of grief being shattered as a result of loss, the potential inherent in failure. There are situations in life when we see the value of loss, grief, and a broken heart. Yet it is not the pain or loss itself that must be the focus of your attention here. No, not even the story of what happened, the details surrounding what has brought you to your knees is as important as what results from the experience. Can you see this situation has broken you wide open, enabling you to have an even greater capacity for love, compassion, empathy, and understanding? You cannot be the same person as before. The only way forward is to move through it without resistance or manipulation, without attempting to bargain with unseen forces, because none of your usual fallbacks can put you back together again. If you do fall prey to self-absorption or self-pity, it will just make it harder to get to the next gra uh, gradual phase leading to relief. Yet, even if you are prolonging the inevitable, you will get there eventually. The gift is in accepting who you've become as a consequence of integrating this difficult experience and allowing yourself to be more than you were. This wisdom comes at a high price, but the value of your experience of moving through and to the other side is unsurpassed. 
love the you that is the result of being broken open by life's challenges and lessons. 100% Leo. Excellent. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you guys so much love. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. With that said, Leo, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.